the heart is a pump, and the valve guides the blood from one part of the pump through the heart and out to the essential organs in the body. The important part of the mitral valve is it must sustain the highest pressure of anywhere in the body. Once the echocardiogram proves that the patient has degenerative mitral regurgitation, it's very important to remember that the only way to fix that is with mitral valve repair surgery. My name is Dr. Rakesh Suri. I'm proud to be part of the largest robotic cardiac surgical program in the world. I'm chief of staff and chair of cardiovascular and thoracic surgery at Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. Mitral valve repair is better than replacement because patients can return to normal life without the need for relying on valve-related anticoagulation or blood thinners. The artistic side has next been taking those sophisticated operations and performing them not through an open chest, but through small incisions in the right chest. So simply we're able to utilize robotic equipment to slide the arms between the ribs, repair your own mitral valve with nearly 100% certainty. Small incisions are made between the ribs on the right side of the chest. One team is working on incisions in the chest Another team is working on a small incision over the groin vessels. Through these are placed cannulae, which allow the blood to be drained from the patient's body, be oxygenated by the heart and lung bypass machine, and be returned to the patient's body. And this allows us to turn off of the heart and turn off of the lungs in order to repair the valve. We then utilize the robotic instruments to precisely open only that amount of the heart muscle in the left atrium in order to access the mitral valve. Once we see the mitral valve, it's very quick to determine what the problem is, and a variety of procedures can be performed at that stage. Once the valve is fixed, we close the left atrium with a suture or a needle and thread, so to speak. We fill the heart back up, and we restart it. We ensure that the valve is perfect. We separate from cardiopulmonary bypass. We can remove the cannulas from the groin, and in some cases, the neck. We can remove all of the robotic instruments. And then we simply close the small incisions, which are about the size of a finger or two in width. By the third day after robotic mitral valve repair, patients are able to leave hospital and return home with nearly no restrictions on their daily activities. Rehabilitation is important after all types of cardiac surgery. The body takes some time to recover and recuperate and rebuild after this life-saving surgery. Never before in the history of medicine has this operation been able to be offered to patients with such a high likelihood of success with such low risk.